find the words to Erev Shal Shoshanim on page 130. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome Shabbat tonight. It's an honor to call for Gary and Julie Simon. They're going to be lighting our Shabbat candles. If you have not yet found a book, find one below your seat and turn to page 120. harder than it looks. <laughs> Keep going. We need four more people to do this. Welcome, Shabbat. Please welcome somebody new. Maybe somebody you don't know. Say hello. Turn behind you, in front of you, to the side, a seat over. But say hello and wish somebody new a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
We continue with Lecha Dodi on page 138.
Be seated and join us in chanting the Behafta, page 268 together. <laughs> Veshinan taham lebanecha, veri bar taham, veshi pecha bevei pecha, uvlek pecha vadera, uvshok pecha ukunecha, uvshar tam leot al yadecha, vehayula totachot bein enecha, uktatam al mezuzel petecha uvisha arecha. Leman tisteru va'asitam et homi tzodai v'itam kedoshim leloekem ani Adonai eloekem asher hotei tiachem me'aretz mitzrayim liot lachem elohim ani Adonai eloekem. We prepare for our song of freedom, our people's freedom, and in thinking about that moment that our people went from slavery to freedom, we think about our own freedoms today, and we celebrate the freedoms that we have. We take this time on Shabbat to think of our story, of our people's story, how we got from there to here, and where we still need to go. Please sing with us. Micha Mocha, page 270. And I don't like to play favorites, but I think this is my favorite, Micha Mocha. No pressure. Clap your hands. <laughs> Mocha by Eli Madonai, Mika Mocha. Oh, no. 
Andy, thank you for the extra tambourining. <laughs> that was really an addition to our Shabbat celebration, our Micha Mocha celebration. We continue with a prayer for peace as we sleep, the Hashki Venu, a prayer that we ask God's protection as we sleep so that we may lay down in peace and rest and sleep through the night and feel the safety and warmth, the love and acceptance of God's presence sheltering over us. We say at the bottom of page 271, Baruch atah Adonai, aporei sukkat shalom, aleinu ve'okol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. We are about to say our Amidah together. And as we do this uh, line that prepares us to say the prayers of the Amidah, it's on page 273. It's actually part of a psalm that kind of helps us to prepare. So we're going to sing it over and over a few times. So when you feel ready, you can rise whenever you feel ready to, uh, to say those prayers together. Page 273, and then we'll join all together in the Amidah on the next page. Please be seated and join me at the bottom of page 278 in the English together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. 
May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. We take a moment for Thanksgiving to say thank you to God for our many, many blessings. And I'd like to invite you now to just think of something you're thankful for. And I invite you, if you'd like, to share it with someone near you. Just share one thing. What are you thankful for? That's a beautiful sound. It's like the sound of giving thanks. I love that. We say together at the bottom of page 281, and thanks for all of our blessings. Baruch atah Adonai, hatov shimcha, ulecha na'e lehodot. And as we pray for peace in an especially difficult week, a week with violence in Israel, a week where there is more division than ever in our own country, and in a week where our prayers really need to motivate us to do whatever we need to do, whatever we can do, to bring about a better world, a more peaceful world, a more peaceful community and country, and certainly in our own homeland of Israel. And so in light of that, Jenny, who, by the way, thank you, Jenny and Brian Lang for the beautiful music, and they're even letting me play guitar tonight, which Heading, is kind it's of such fun. such a treat. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much for your help, Jenny. <laughs> and we're, we have a special song for peace. See if you know this one. I think you might. And the words are on your lyric sheet, I, I believe. I have the lyrics. But I bet you know them already. Before we take a moment or two for our own silent prayers, I want to share a teaching or a reading about this week's Torah portion, Kitisa. 
in Exodus 30, which concludes the divine instruction to Moses and makes note of the impatience of the Israelites as they await his return from Mount Sinai summit. They're unable to keep in mind the invisible God of the Exodus and of the Sinai, and so they make for themselves a molten calf of gold. Soon after, as the chastened people are about to set forth toward the promised land, Moses pleads that God be present with them on their quest and on his own. And he said, oh, let me behold your presence. And God answers, I will make all my goodness pass before you. Rabbi Chaim Stern writes this about his own quest. He says, on this quest of mine to make sense of my life, to discover the meaning of what I do and what is done to and for me, I come to the stillness of this day. I yearn for the insight to be grateful for the gifts that have been created in me and for the gift of loving companions who walk by my side. On Shabbat, let me put aside all doubt and all sadness and give thanks. We take time for our own silent thoughts, prayers, and thanks. Take time on this Shabbat to think of each loved one who is ill. And it seems there have been so many. And we pray for each loved one. We pray for their caregivers. We pray for those who are struggling in health of body, mind, and spirit. We especially think of Hope, Ellen Caller, Yifapat Yoram, Judy Brown, Paul Weiner, Ronald Harwich, Alice Harwich, Isabella De La Husse, Marty Gitlitz, Natalie Keegan. Roberta Lowenstein, Yoli Marlowe, Greg Miller, Joe Botkin, Jessica Hunter, Yale David, Kim Levine, Karina Casanas, Brenda Tucci, Carol Shulkin, Steve Hertz, Ava Wilson, Jenny Wasserstrom, Sandy Kramer, Nancy Pastroff, Erwin Fetter, Eileen Danheiser, Barbara Dorman, Jesse Friedman, Patty Campo, Orlando Catano, Michael Lebb, Hilda Kane, Diana Maria Lane, Hannah Batavora, Boaz Ashbill, Harvey Ezrol, Marilyn Tupler, Digna Plaskett, Sophia Sabio, Melissa Wessels, Mel and Mary Cornfield, Henry Forer, Steve Weingrad, Mayor Shapira, Tim Doerr, Carlos Gambos, Etta Kessler, Mad Madeline Nurkin, Rick Vare, Hazel Bernstein, Samuel Naom, Natalie Siegel, Isabella Lopez, Ben McKinley, Donna Johnson, Michael Rosenblatt, Joseph Forer, Frankie Linsky, Ron Linsky, Floyd Schultz, Jacob Gordon, Deborah Forer, Robert and Didi Moss, Barton Udell, Gal Munzer, Juliana Kalish, Diane Stahl, Elise Trumbull, Larry Silver, Paul Gitnick, Esther Botvega, Sheila Ginsberg, and Meryl Hollywood. And if you'd like to add other names, if you'd like to say them as we come around, please do.
Adonai, Rofei HaCholim, and we all say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It is a great joy to build a relationship with a couple who are looking to stand in a few short weeks under the chuppah and become chatan v'kala, a bride and groom. Ah, oh, are you excited? Yeah, me too, me too. I'd like to invite up Jeff and Christina to come and uh, begin our, you looked at each other like, is it happening? It's happening. Yeah, now's the time. Uh, as we cele celebrate this incredible milestone. Um, it wasn't too long ago that you were a groom, as they say, always a groom and never a, they don't ever say that, actually. Um, 
but you had just celebrated an incredible wedding of your brother and now sister-in-law about what, four weeks ago? So I heard mom, I heard mom correct me. Yeah, sorry, Judy, three weeks ago. Uh, three weeks ago, and in April, we get to celebrate the two of you and this incredible accomplishment of love uh, and of building a home that is based on incredible values from your parents. And it is with great joy that <clears throat> we get to bless you with <clears throat> this bracha. Nikor Chaim, source of all life. We ask your blessing for this chatan v'kala, this bride and groom. We pray that the sacred commitments of their wedding day will sustain them all the days of their lives. May the love that binds them be lasting and let their hearts be filled with patience and understanding. May their home be a mikdash me'at, a sanctuary built on devotion to God, Torah, and Israel. May they be blessed with health and courage as their love and friendship deepens through the years. We pray that they will enjoy good fortune and find shalom together as we all say, amen, amen. Ready for your speech? No, got it. I'd like to invite up Rabbi Siegel to help us bestow upon you uh, the, uh, one of the oldest blessings, that the priestly blessing. <laughs> yeah, it's right. <laughs> you know, we could do the wedding right now. Right now. Come on, just get it, you know, <laughs> we can just do it. <laughs> We're so excited for you guys. Yivarechecha Adonai ve'yishmarecha And yehi ratzon Yair Adonai panav Elecha v'chunecha And yehi ratzon Yisda Adonai panav Elecha v'yasem lecha shalom Ken yehi Ken yehi ratzon May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you continue down this incredible path of experiencing life together, of growing together, of learning together, and of building a home, a home filled with shalom, of peace together, as we all say, Amen. Mazel tov. This is so exciting. Simen tavo, mazel tavo, mazel tavo, simen tavo. I don't want you to feel left out of that conversation we just had. So I'll tell you what that conversation was. I asked Christina, I said, Christina, are you gonna be this tall at your wedding? She goes, yeah. I turned to Rabbi Siegel, Rabbi Siegel, I said, how much taller is she than me? Rabbi Siegel's like, oh, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. And then Jeff says, from the bottom of his heart, he goes, wait till you see my groomsmen. And I was like, I'm gonna be the shortest dude there. He goes, yup. <laughs> Rabbi Sigel's like, you should probably bring a step stool. I was like, really? <laughs> Might be busy on that 15th. Uh, friends, help me out. Name three best Jewish events to find really good food at passover great another one hanukkah another one break fast break it doesn't matter what we serve at breakfast you're gonna eat it i'm not sure that one counts another one Sh Shav shavuot and then i hear shavuot and go ice cream yes we scream all for ice cream those are not what i had in mind uh i wrote down three one, a wedding. 
a wedding. Did you guys say a wedding? You guys said a wedding. <laughs> Andrew's like, for sure a wedding. Two. No. Rabbi Siegel's house. When Ella Siegel makes cookies, she makes enough to feed a nation. When Rabbi Siegel's parents, Betty and Harry, come to town, they make enough food to feed two nations. Don't know what the holiday is, but I'm coming to your house. Three, most important, a bris. I love crashing a good bris. The food at a bris is always good because we just sat through a bris. It has to be good. It has to be good. A bris, Yiddish, for Brit, means covenant. A covenant is what we enter into with God. A partnership. A promise that we will act in ethical, Torah-binding ways. And God will... Reward us with the promise of life, of brachot, and of goodness. Many of us know this. But I bet many of us don't know what is the Hebrew name for America. And it's not America. It is Artsot Habrit. It is the land of the covenant. Let that sit in there for just a second. Artsot habrit, the land of the covenant. But what is the covenant of the United States? Let's unpack that. America is a land of connection, relationship and promise. Just based on its name, how could it not be? A promise to her, the land of the free and the home of the brave. And likewise, a promise to each one of us as American people. To fulfill this promise of lands of the covenant, we must actively engage with our local, state, and federal officials to make it a place of connection of covenant. The changes that we need to make in our communities come in all different shapes and sizes. And they may not only affect us as Jews, but all people for whom we stand with for justice and just causes. So if we want to be American and support America, we must stand up and stand out for others including ourselves, but not just ourselves. By adding our collective strength and voice to help spread change, we, the change that we need for others, we help build bridges. We help fulfill the very name of our country, the lands of the covenant. One bridge I want you to walk, and I want to walk with you, is the bridge of pact people acting for community together. This coming Monday, March 13th, we have rented a bus, not a school bus, a nice bus, for all who want to attend a rally that will bring religious communities together in support of two very important issues. This past year, this current year, we are taking on as packed as a community the critical issues of combating extreme heat by pushing for better tree canopy in areas where concrete persists and reducing arrests for minor nonviolent offenses, replacing the arrest which goes on one's permanent record, thereby inhibiting many job opportunities with an effective adult civil citation program. Now, you might think to yourself, as I have, we have trees in our home. I don't get pulled over, but that's not true for everyone living in Miami. We know this. And we can be a part of that solution, thereby living out the Hebrew name, Artsot Abrit. And yet you might say, these two issues don't impact my life. And I would say, I get it. A story. 
Back in the olden days, when Romans put on massive shows of strength, thousands would gather watching barbaric fights between gladiators and beasts. Verse beast and beast, or even man versus man. These matches typically ended in death. We have this image of a king sitting on a throne, holding out his hand, getting ready to decide the fate of an individual. Thumbs up, he lives. Thumbs down, death. So there are two opinions about this very game in the Talmud. One, it is forbidden. I bet you know the other opinion. It is allowed. Let's unpack. It is forbidden. No Jew should watch two men or beasts fight to death. Life is sacred. Why make a show of murder? And why attend? Show support against it by boycotting the brutality. But the second opinion is obviously against that. One should go. Because when the ruler extends his hand, his thumb, the Jew can gather their voices together and help change the fate of each person by applauding, yeah, when life is preserved, or boo, when life is taken. They can change the tide of the fate of an individual. With enough support and loud enough shouts, a gladiator's life could be spared. Is that worth attending this primitive sport? Does that make this a worthy cause? A Jew could intervene and help save a life. Thumbs up, thumbs down. But to make it happen, the Jew had to show up. Showing up is a huge part of shifting change. Each one of us has power. So let's wield it to help others. And in doing so, we will help ourselves. Each meeting that we attend with PACT or other organizations, each rally we show up for, we slowly build a bridge. Then, when we, the Jews, are in need, we will expect, and I would even extend that to say, we will demand that others show up for us and walk across that bridge to where we stand. It's about building community. Now, we often say this, and we're getting close to saying it in our Sidra, in our Torah, where we say, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Be strong, be strong. May we all be strengthened. So I want you to join with me and the social action network and members of our community to rally our might and be the change. Monday the 13th, next Monday, we will gather here at Temple of Judea. We will board a bus at 615 to rally our efforts with PACT to make a change. I can promise you this, there will not be great food at this event. But you will leave feeling full after a night of gathering, connecting, and change making. Join with me in these three powerful words of strength. Chazak, chazak, venit, chazak. Be strong, be strong, and may we strengthen our community and strengthen each other as we say, amen. It is great honor and pleasure to invite up Billy Martin to share some announcements and words. Billy uh, is on our board and is co-chair of our Life and Safety Committee, uh, and it's great to have you here, Billy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great, 
great to be here. He always overdoes the announcement. <laughs> uh, before I get started, is Sab uh, Sabina here? Is there a Sabina in the room? I have your credit card. I need your pin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Shabbat Shalom. I'm Billy Martin, a member of the Board of Temple Judea. Sorry. I got to get that in. Uh, thank you to Julie and Gary Simon for lighting the Shabbat candles, and they will lead us in the uh, Kiddush and Motzi after the services. Uh, and after the services, join a, us for the Onig Shabbat in the Grossman Room. Uh, we would like to thank our guest musician, Brian Lang, for enhancing our music tonight. Brian's become my next favorite uh, drummer next to uh, Ringo Starr. And, yeah, close. And especially to the rabbi who's breaking out the, the rhythms. I love that. Yeah. Mazel tov to Jeff and Christina on their Ufrup. Really great. Uh, the, uh, the JC Kosher Food Bank Passover collection is going on now through March 24th. Please bring food and cleaning supplies uh, and uh, help fill our collection boxes, which are located all around the temple. On Saturday, we have our minion service and Torah study beginning at nine o'clock, and we welcome you all to join us. Is that Zoom or live? Both, okay. We have so many more exciting events, uh, uh, worship and education opportunities ahead here at Temple Judea. Please check your email on our temple website for details. And once again, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, we find a credit card. Uh, and luckily, being Jews, you couldn't even use it until tomorrow night. Um, so whoever Sabina is, uh, please see uh, Billy uh, before tomorrow night. Um, we continue with our service uh, as we stand for our Alenu on page 586. Please rise. Alenu le shapeach ha aton ha kod la tet gerulah yotze breishit shelo asanu kregoye ha aton velo samanu kemishpahat ha rama shelo sam helkenu kahem veko. seated. The, there's a hole that appears deep in our soul or our heart when we lose a loved one, can't be stitched or patched. It has to be processed. And as we process that, that love, that individual, that partner, that friend, that parent, that teacher is no more, we must keep them a part of us by doing mitzvot in their honor, by speaking of them, by sharing their stories. If you hear a loved one's name read tonight, whether it's yard side or past within this year, I hope you can think back to a time, relive that moment, 
that cherished moment where you felt connected and a part of their lives. On this Shabbat, we remember the yard sites of Morris Abelson, Laura Adler, Florence Bakken, Gordon, Nettie Baum, Jordan Battelle, Ruth Cohen Beckett, Christine Bowden, Marilyn Kaplan, Eleanor Katzman, Marvin Cohen, Sanford Freud Dernis, Max M. Dubin, Jacob Emden, Mort Goldman, Henry Harrison, Lillian Hilbert, Harold Levy, Rose Marcus Gross, Ethel Mark Schultz, Bernard Michelson, Stanley Newmark, Manuel Polly, Nathan Rabinowitz, Teresa Rubin, Mildred Gursky Sablotsky, Ann Sachs, Ethel Mark Schultz, Irving Schwartz, Sylvia Shore, Helen Simon, and Zelda Zalas. Remember those who've passed away within this year, Kelly Henley, Judge Marvin Gilman, Stephanie Altman, Greta Schulich, Shirley Spiegelman, Ethel Marion Crane, Vivian Whitkoff, Jack Blumenfeld, Dottie Fish, Robert Rosen, Sylvia Cohen Kelman, David Michael Wolfson, Ben Ben Sion, Chaim Ueda Gittel, Martha Burke, Rainey Berry, Ralph D'Angelo, Rosalie Pincus, Dorothy Spire, Alicia Cohen Frank, Judith Weiser, Andrew Wax, Shirley Harris, Jackie Leone, Robert Spiegelman, Stuart London, Charlotte Brody, Barbara O'Neill Bird, Sharon Presby, Ethelyn Morris, Robert S. Stone, Brooke Benezra, Steve Niepler, Alejandra Isabel Carasa, Marsha Lynn Kornblum Weston, Sonia Horwich, Joseph Martin Rosenfeld, Hilary Madelon, Gary Levin, Jan Vander, Juan Carlo Mercad, Myra, G Myra Littman, Camille Antoinette Gattuso, Dr. Martin Snyder, Robert Lashen, Lila Chasen Gaines, and this week we add the name of Dr. Albert L. Sapphire. If you are in a week of mourning of Shiva, please rise. If it's within the first month of losing a loved one, please rise. Shloshim. If it's within the first year, Shana, of losing a loved one, family member or friend, please rise. If this Shabbat marks the yard side of someone close to you, please rise. We stand as a community, as a Kahila Kadosha, as a holy community. We stand in honor of all the victims of the Shoah, the Holocaust, as well as all of our soldiers here in America who have fought for our freedom and have died, as well as all of the soldiers, military in Israel who have fought for our land, Eretz Yisrael. As a community, we rise on page 598 for the words of Kadisha Tom. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei Rabba, amen. Ve'alma divra chirute ve'al mich malchute. V'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei dechol beit Yisrael. V'agala uv'izman kari ve'imru, amen. Yehi shamei Rabba mevarach le'olam ulamei almaya. Yidbarach v'yishdabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh. V'yitadar v'yitalei v'yitalal shamei d'kudusha b'richu. Leola minko birchata v'shirata. Tushbechata v'nechemata. Da'amiran ve'ama ve'imru. Amen. Yesh lama rabba min shamaya v'chayim aleinu ve'akol Yisrael. Ve'imru. Amen. O se shalom b'mromav. Hu ya'a se shalom. Aleinu ve'akol Yisrael. Ve'imru. Amen.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I hope you hear the call, the call to action, not only the call to prayer, but the call of showing up and showing out and being a part of the change. Uh, and with that, let's be a part of the holy change and change into this next part, which is food. <laughs> and I love food. And so I'd like to bring Simons back up to help us with our Kiddush and Hamotzi. Amen. Shabbat shalom.